Hello friends, today I am giving you a recipe for mutton rizala. You can use chicken as well in this dish. Here I have with me 1 kg of mutton that I marinated with 2 tablespoons of ginger paste, 2 tablespoons of garlic paste, 2 tablespoons of salt. You can use 1 kg, that means it can be about 20 to 25 pieces. Uh, I put 2 tablespoons of good whipped yogurt and um, the ingredients I have used is about 4 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, 2 tablespoons of ghee. Uh, for the whole spices, 2 cinnamon sticks, few bay leaves, 2 to 3 long, 2 to 3 cardamom, red dried chilies and onions which I will fry and put in later with ghee as the baghar. For the spices about 1 4 teaspoon of javetri, a tablespoon of ground white pepper powder, a teaspoon of garam masala which is optional, teaspoon of chili powder which is optional and water depending on how much gravy you need about 4 to 6 cups. Now this dish is essentially a Mughlai dish. It is called lamb mutton curry and uh, I will also use a, a tablespoon of uh, lamb uh, curry masala from Shan uh, which is a secret ingredient used in this dish. Uh, also I have used in this about four onions that I made into a fine ground paste and I am sauteing it till it will be golden brown. So I uh, normally get this shan masalas and in this case I'm using korma for rizala or mutton curry. I'll use about a tablespoon of this. Even though there are spices in here, this adds that extra special, authentic, uh, marvelous taste which is mouth watering. So I'm starting my preparation right now. Here I am frying the onions till it is golden brown. Some people prefer to use green chilies as well. It has to fry for about 5-10 minutes in this pan. In this fashion. Adding about 2 tablespoons to 3 tablespoons of ghee, about 4 5 bay leaves, 2 cinnamon sticks, whole spices, long and cardamom, and spicing, ev uh, frying everything together in the pan. In the meantime that my onions are frying, I would like to explain to you, this is kaj, uh, like it's called cashew or ka uh, kaju uh, paste with poppy seed, about uh, 2 tablespoons I will use here and at the end I will use some good quality saffron dissolved in milk for flavoring. Most of the Mughlai dishes you have to flavor at the end with these two. So now in the pan, so after 5 minutes, I'm frying the onions, in the pan, and you can see the texture has changed into a golden brown with the onions. This dish is mainly made with onions and ghee. It's a very rich dish. At the other end, I've heated my pan. I'm going to add in this about a tablespoon 
of good quality ghee and I'm going to fry some thinly sliced onions with dried red chili. And keeping to stir the meat in the pot. So one side as my baghar gets ready with the onions and the dry chilies which I will add at the end. I am stirring my meat in this fashion down and round. My husband loves to eat meat so I cook a lot of meat. And this is some stirring it on high flame over here. I add like a tablespoon of ground white pepper powder and jalapi is a spice used in biryani one fourth teaspoon of that salt was the meat was already marinated with salt but always you can add salt to taste and keep mix, mixing the mixture in this manner. At the same time mixing so that the flavor of these come in the rizala. Now red chili powder is an option. If you don't want to add it, we don't add it. But they have to fry well in the pan. Already two tablespoons of yogurt was added. Maybe a cup more can be added at the end. Fry the onions and the dry red chilies with the ghee. And I add it all to one pot. Normally don't waste any spices so I add all the remaining water as well and I go in this manner down and round so that all the lamb chop and this is expensive meat lamb chop or mutton looks absolutely marvelous it should taste equally marvelous <laughs> 